Yeah, yeah, yeah. See my whole team and you know where to find us. Yeah, you know where to find me. Hey, I'm drowning in grace. When I look at my past, somehow we don't match on my sis been erased. Now they say that we great. Hey. Hi guys, so in today's video I'll be explaining five reasons your hair is dry. Is wrong moisturizing techniques and this means that number one you don't understand your hair porosity so for example your hair is high porosity but you're using uh, moisturizing techniques for someone whose hair is low porosity so in the end your hair ends up dry and so you need to do your research as a person and do that porosity test method you can find it anywhere online so that you're able to understand how your hair accepts and absorbs moisture into the strands so that your hair won't be dry. Yeah. The other thing is that you put water on your hair but after a while it evaporates and it leaves your hair dry because you didn't seal that moisture. And so it's very important um, to make sure that after you moisturize your hair either with water only or a leave-in conditioner that you seal that moisture with either a cream or an oil your hair is damaged so it can either be chemical damage or heat damage heat damage is where you've applied a lot of heat over and over back to back on your hair and so your hair becomes weak, it becomes thin, and it's always breaking off. Chemical damage is where you use chemical products that actually change your hair texture. So either texturizers or uh, chemical dyes or blowouts or relaxers, but then you're not doing it the correct way. So then your hair ends up looking thin, raggedy, weird, and dry. The third reason why your hair is dry is that you're using products that don't work for you. So, um, for example, you're this kind of person who just walks into a shop, a cosmetic store, a mall, you go to the hair section and you pick up a product and you're like, ooh, this one looks nice, let me use it. Honestly, that will just mess up your hair because, for example, you pick up a product that's meant for relaxed hair and your hair is natural. It's not going to work. It's really important to understand what your hair needs so that you're able to buy products that work for those needs. For example, if you have a dry scalp, like I have a dry scalp, I buy products that are moisturizing, products that prevent dandruff because if you have a dry scalp you're prone to dandruff so if you buy specific products that work for that then your hair ends up thriving and it stays moisturized the fourth reason why your hair is dry is that you're shampooing your hair too much honestly if your hair is curly if it's kinky if it's coily you don't need to shampoo your hair every single day as opposed to like if your hair is straight you know the strands are straight naturally then you need to shampoo your hair a bit more often because the sebum that's in your scalp travels down your hair shaft faster because I mean it's just going straight so someone whose hair is curly or coily the sebum doesn't travel so fast so then it travels slowly it works slower so your hair needs time for the sebum to do its work which is to give the hair nutrients so if you're washing your hair every single day and your hair is kinky it's curly it's coily it means that you're literally removing the sebum from your scalp so you're not giving your hair time to do its own thing you're not um, helping your hair uh, give itself its nutrients if that makes sense so there's more of a scientific explanation to this you know so that you understand your hair but basically if your hair is curly 
kinky coily you don't need to shampoo your hair every day you just uh literally stripping away the moisture and the sebum from the hair itself like the hair follicles so then you're making your hair drier than it should be you literally leave your hair alone you don't care about it you don't moisturize it you don't wash it you don't treat it you don't condition it you don't do anything for your hair and so your hair is not thriving it's not really healthy it might look healthy if you have good genes but it's not healthy it's, it's, it's not moisturized it's not thriving so your hair is dry because you don't care about it you need to just understand what your hair needs you need to like just learn more about your hair because it's a part of you so naturally it shouldn't be very hard to just know that my hair likes this my hair doesn't like this it's very easy you just need to change your mindset about your hair okay so we've come to the end of this video and i hope that you found it informative and helpful and so don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions i'll answer them when i'm free yeah don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends also subscribe if you haven't already Yeah, sometimes I need it so I can die